So I was scrolling through YouTube and I saw a video that says Ben Shapiro melts down because Cleopatra is black. <laughs> the title was really awkward. Ben Shapiro melts down. I've never seen Ben Shapiro melt down. So I thought go search for the Ben Shapiro video and check it out. And here we are now. So let's let's get to it. In Hollywood nowadays that any character can be played by a black person, but no black character can ever be played by anyone else. The latest example of this is that Netflix has now come out with a new Cleopatra series produced by noted Egyptologist and historical expert Jada Pinkett Smith. This is the weirdest Hollywood story of the day. So Netflix has now announced that Jada Pinkett Smith is doing a docu-series on Cleopatra because she is she's an Egyptologist. Did you know that? Jada Pinkett Smith? Like there's nobody in America who knows more about the the empire of the Ptolemies than Jada Pinkett Smith. And um the Racially ambiguous queen. Wait, is the problem Cleopatra or Jada Pinkett Smith? Because <laughs> I want to know where he's attacking from. <laughs> it really seems he's from Jada here. Now being depicted <laughs> as black in the Queen Cleopatra docu-series. Here we go. Cleopatra was trying to save the country that she loved from oh destruction. I did oh, no. what I had to do to protect what is mine. This is a woman exercising power. Cleopatra was a Ptolemaic ruler. The very first Ptolemy is a general of Alexander the Great. It's possible that she was an Egyptian. I imagine her to have curly hair like me and a similar skin color. I remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school, Cleopatra was black. She has become an icon. I am a god. Queen. I don't care what they tell you in school is pretty good. Her story resonates summary, summary of this. with every woman. I don't care what they tell you in school is a really, really good summary of this. Okay, for people who don't know anything, like literally anything <laughs> about world history, let me explain that Cleopatra was probably- I just want to know if the movie is good. Like, if it's out, I just want to go watch it and see if it's good. ...of Greek extraction. The reason that we say this is because she was almost undoubtedly of Greek extraction. Okay, she was part of the Ptolemaic Empire. Here's how it worked. After Alexander the Great conquered vast parts of North Africa and the Middle East, and then died. This would be in the fourth century BCE. And there was a giant sort of conflict that broke out among his chief generals. Okay, there was the Seleucid Empire. That was one area. One of the empires was the Ptolemaic Empire, right? Ptolemy. Okay, Ptolemy was one, of his, was one of his regional governors, and he ended up taking over that area. He was Greek. All of his descendants were therefore from him. They were Greek. The notion that Cleopatra was black is, is silly. I mean, again, you're allowed to do this in Hollywood because, of course, the only thing that matters is our weird... It looks like he's breaking down. It really looks like the man is breaking down. <laughs> parochially American perception of what race matters. It's super, super strange. By the way, we actually have sculptures of Cleopatra. It's not as though there, there's like nothing to indicate what Cleopatra looked like. There's a Roman sculpture of Cleopatra from like the mid first century around the time of her visits to Rome. But could we tell the skin color from the sculpture? And she looks Greek because she was... She looks Probably Greek. Greek. Yeah, this, like, it was amazing. The entire Hollywood crowd went totally nuts when it turned out they were... But also, we can say this is acting, right? Like, we've seen people who are not gay act gay in movies. We've seen gay people act straight in movies. So can't we say Cleopatra could be black because he's acting? I don't know, like, the whole story. I cannot say if she was black or white. I'm not a professional. I'm not an Egyptologist. I don't know what, what that term is, but I'm not that. Trying to cast Gal Gadot. As Cleopatra, Gal Gadot undoubtedly looked a lot more like Cleopatra than anybody who's being cast in this particular production. Now, again, you can cast however you want, but I've noticed a certain pattern in Hollywood, which is that people who clearly are not black are now being cast as black. But if you ever did the reverse, then it would be then no way, right? That would be racism of the highest order. Is that really true in Hollywood? In fact, you'll recall that there was a there, there's this Shonda Rhimes show, uh, Bridgerton, in which what, what which is Queen Victoria? Is it? I don't watch Bridgerton because I'm a dude and I and I have testicles. So Bridgerton is, um, you know, a sh toxic masculinity alert guys. show for women, and uh, and also a, a racially strange show in which a bunch of white people are cast as black people, sort of like Hamilton. A bunch of white people are cast as people of color, and all the rest. And again, if we're just going to do race neutral, neutral casting on everything, I'm I'm here for it. Fine, all right, that's that's cool. But that also means that Ryan Gosling needs to be up for Martin Luther King, right? It also means <laughs> that we're going to need Christian Bale. As like Booker T. Washington. Like the, the Idris Alba has to be the next James Bond. Either you do it or you don't. Okay. You don't get to make up in this particular case, it's even worse because they're actively trying to claim a thing 
that was not true for purposes, presumably, of suggesting that there was a whitewashing of Cleopatra's history, that there was an attempt to whitewash Cleopatra by turning her into a white lady, but actually she was probably a black lady. Now, again, she had particularly distinctive facial features. There, there are paintings of her at the time. There are sculptures of her at the time. But the point that I'm making here is that we view everything now from the peculiarly intersectional lens of what exactly would black people want, presumably like the most radical black <laughs> activists want to say about a historical incident. And then we just like put it out there. And it's, it's super weird. Netflix putting its money behind that sort of thing. Again, Jada, why is Jada Pinkett Smith doing a thing about Cleopatra? Like explain to me. It's super strange. But this thing might not be like a Netflix thing. It could just be Jada Pinkett Smith approached them with an, with an idea that seemed to make sense and logically or business-wise, it was feasible. So they put money behind it. You know, you can't really blame Netflix for this. I don't think so. You know, the idea seemed good. Black people are going to watch it because black audience. But I don't really know. Like, should this be a big deal? Like, should he be ranting about this? White people, please let me know if you think this is a big deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Again, like just <laughs> a little glitching, bit of accuracy guys. would go a long way. Well, none of this makes <laughs> I don't think it matters. You know, I don't think it matters. If it's a good movie, I don't care who acts it. But I feel like the idea here might have been to appeal to a black audience. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I'm just speculating also. But I don't think it matters. If it's a good movie, I'm still going to watch it, be it white or black. Also, I think it's acting, so it shouldn't really matter from the black side or from the white side. I know some black people would argue that a white person shouldn't act a black a black character. I've heard that kind of arguments. Um, I, that that might be a real argument. So yeah, it work. It should work both ways. So I see why Ben Shapiro might be writing his arguments. I also see why. It shouldn't matter. I think it's just acting at the end of the day. So you guys let me know what you think. Feel free to give me your history, the documentary, everything you know, because I know some very smart people are in the comment section or some very smart people are watching right now and you have a lot to say about this. So feel free to educate me. I'm open to take all the knowledge I can absorb and I can take all the criticism and all the corrections. Yeah, not criticism, but corrections. Let's put it that way. That being said, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace.